This is part two for tutorial number one in the drafting class. So to start off with, I have my cube that I just did and I'm just gonna rotate around. You can see the hole in it. I'm gonna add a second hole, but I kind of lost where I was. So if I press control D, it puts me back to the default location. Or if I come up here, I move it around. I can come up here where the AB is and select default orientation. Okay, so I'm gonna add a hole over on this side now and go all the way through. So I start with extrude. And then I'm gonna pick which side I wanna do. So I wanna work on this side here. And there I am. And I'm gonna to go to the default position. Now the problem is, is that this reference line is up here and I actually want it down the center. So what I'm gonna do is hold the uh, select circle and I'm actually gonna put it across here. Now I'm just gonna move this around for a second. Control D again. And you can see where the reference line is back there. I want it in the center here. So I'm gonna hold the Alt key down and if I actually select this plane, it will move it to the center. Now, I click to my uh, references so it's nice and flat here to work. And I select my circle and I just put it up. Click once and if I click anywhere else here with a center mouse, it clicks in, I'll change that to eight. And I hit accept. And now I have my cylinder. Now, once again, I want to put it all the way through so I'm gonna remove material. I'm going to invert the distance and you can see it's not all the way through yet. And I'm just going to come up here and go all the way through. And there you go. There's now my second part. And I'm just going to hit complete and I'll hit save and OK. And that is now the second hole that I have done. And I'm going to stop this tutorial right here and go on to the third one in a minute.